magician just snuck off with the Fool Us trophy. See if Penn and Teller can catch our next magician in the act right now. A lot of magicians would like to be David Copperfield. I'd like to be David Bowie. I am a multimedia magician because I grew up in a house full of artists. When I was just a kid, the renowned movie maker Jean-Luc Godard became my mentor. He gave me video equipment to play with and later on a part in a movie with Gérard Depardieu. Today I act, I am a musician, I direct videos. And I think all this gives my magic a distinctive flavor. Of course, my first goal as a magician is to be entertaining. My second goal, well, your show is called Fool Us, yes? Let's take a trip to the future with Ben Kratz. Robocar 3000, activate. Humans, welcome to the future of card magic. Demonstrate slide of hand. Let's go. Gonzo. Next move, trash compactor. Try that, Homo sapiens. Crusher. All right, crusher it is. Oh. Adam Splitter. Eraser. Black hole. Domo arigato. Teleportation. Jedi Mind Power. Robots Cadabra. Disintegrator. Mission accomplished. Activate Happy Robot Sequence. Ben Teller, I hope sleep. Ben Teller, I hope you enjoyed my performance. Did I fool you? I love the retro video game element. Uh, do you play video games? I must admit, yes, <laughs> sure, yeah. And so is that where you got this inspiration? I don't think so. I was uh, working um, on uh, object vanishings, you know, and uh, I taped myself to show my mentor, and he told me, it's cool, Ben, but you're doing moves too brutal, too quick. It's not mm. magic enough. And uh, I was like, yeah, but I like my moves. So I had to find a way to justify <laughs> uh, the, the quick moves, you know? Yeah. And uh, the robot and then, then, was invented. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's so cool. And you know, I'm doing magic because of you guys. I've discovered magic in two th 2017. Really? With Penn and Teller, Fool Us. And Just that recently? Yes. And then I, I started to do magic because of you guys, <laughs> the truth. Yeah. And here you are. And here I am. Well, Switzerland's already famous for chocolate and watches. Let's see if you can make it famous for magic. <laughs> Let's see. Boys. Hello, Benjamin. Hey. We are the judges. <laughs> we are going to decide 
whether you fooled us or not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to keep that up. I don't have the whole track going on, so I can't really do it. Boy, that looks nice. It looks really beautiful. And it's a really good way to do it. You got a future look, and we think that the, uh, that the, the way you're doing it is, is actually fairly, uh, fairly old fashioned. And that's yeah. a really nice, nice combination to do those two things. And the way you moved, I mean, in, uh, you, you studied movement, you're kind of a thin guy, made me think a lot of Mick Jagger. I don't know what favorite um, Stone songs you have, but I lie. tell there's a big fan of Honky Talk Women, but me, I go back to the early days, back when Brian Jones was still with them with Painted Black. One of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, Stone songs. I don't think they did it on the last tour. They probably don't remember it, but it was a favorite of mine. And we really loved it. We loved the whole outfit, the whole way it looked. It really looked truly magical. But I do not think you fooled us. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you didn't fool them, but you really entertained us. Thank you. Oh. Ben Katz. <laughs> Penn and Teller can't perform just yet. They still have more tricks to bust when Foolish returns.